god, guys, we have to rush you in. There's a big challenge happening as the AJ Finn uh, Bullet Club, the Ms. Taraj and Miz. We've got Broken Matt Hardy, Dash, and Scott Dawson, and Wilder, and the, the, the Revival. We got Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews, and the Wyatt family all in the ring. What is this? Hey, what's up, universe? My name is... <gasps> Wait, what? Syria, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta. <gasps> Could this be? Let's see. Are they, are they walking out? Um, he hello? Uh, um, oh, it was a troll. Come on! Wait, there they are! They're coming out of the crowd! It's the shield! Burn out, burn out, burn out. I'm singing this because of copyright. Look at that guy right there trying to jump over the security! There's a man over there with a suplex city shirt who cannot wait to see them. And there's a guy that looks like John Cena with a Cena suck sign. Well, they're here. They're here. <coughs> and back together as the shield. Let's, we're going to need to go to a quick little commercial break. But we'll come back to them. And we'll see what happens here with this craziness. Hey, universe. This is a commercial done by your boy. John Cena! Da, 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 da. Be sure to subscribe. Yay! Alrighty, guys, we're back from break. And as you guys can see, the shield fist bump has now happened. But, universe, this is not a normal video today. Since basically, sort of, WWE has put back together the shield, pretty much it's rumored that it will happen. We're going to predict. Shields, possible opponents. And we're going to begin all the way back here with Bo Dallas, The Miz, and Curtis Axel, which is missing. He'll be like right there. Let's just imagine. And Maurice. So basically, we're going to be predicting. Um, they're, they're scheduled to be what they're rumored to be the opponents of the Shield when, when they fully reform. But I just still felt like I should put them in here because exactly that reason. Even though, yeah, they've been rumored, they have not been confirmed, so I feel I'm gonna still give a bit of like a pros and cons for that. So basically, what what would be good about that is that <clears throat> the Miz has the Intercontinental Championship, and like they could do a match where it's like the the Raw Tag Team Champions Championships and the IC title are on the line, and basically where where if whoever winner takes all, so I guess Roman would get the IC title and the other two would keep their titles. Seth and Dean. So yeah, that that's what's being rumored. I'd hope that's happened because that's really cool. And yeah, let's move on to the next team. The next team that we see over here is a, not an official team, but it is Broken Matt Hardy or Matt Hardy, whichever one you want to say, and Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. The reason why I'm pairing them together is because one, all three are not really having a direction with Matt having his brother out, and and yeah, he's, he won't be in the tag team competition, he, and I don't think he'll have too crazy big of a role in singles competition, so why not give him a chance with a team like Dash and Scott? Why don't you pair them up? He could be like broken, and I don't know. I don't know how Dash and Dawson sort of fit into this. I just sort of thought it would be a really cool team, like they could be the Southern Proud Boys, I don't know. Like, Matt could be broken and trying to change, like, sort of a bit of a Bray Wyatt, except with two, like, I don't know. This, this sort of, I came into my mind, I'll need to think more on it. If you guys want me to make another video on how, uh, fantasy booking Scott and Dash join the broken family, I could perfectly fine do that, but for right now, I think, well, I'm pretty much just gonna leave it, it would be a cool team. They, they're directionless without, with them being injured. And hopefully they can be back soon. And hopefully, and they would be like a pretty much like a dream match, seeing Matt Hardy versus D, like I don't know. It's just really a dream match. I'm sort of trying to figure out a way to put together. Now the next team, even though yes, this one may be a little bit less because they are on separate brands. Hold on, forget about Dean's face there. The Wyatt family: Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, and Bray Wyatt, the leader. 
Even though, yes, Bray Wyatt is on Raw, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper are not. So you may need to find a way to trade them, or you can wait all the way until Survivor Series to do this match, but I feel like they'd have bigger things for, not the Wyatts, but for um, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns, but you never know. So I think it would be cool to see them back together and do like a then versus now sort of situation because the Shield and my family have faced off before, but never in this situation. So it would be cool to see like then versus now. Bray Wyatt's now been a world champion. All the Shield have been world champions. They've all gone on to win singles titles. So I think it would be cool to see that transformation over time. The next team, I'm gonna need to like do a weird zoom out here, is Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil and Akira Tozawa. So basically, Akira Tozawa would go here. And I don't know, I just was thinking of teams on Raw and like, it would be an interesting one. I don't think this would be booked on a pay-per-view, but I would like to see it like as a Raw match. Just because like one, Akira Tozawa um, is a cruiserweight, so you know that's a big no-no to see cruiserweights fight with older guy, um, not older, <laughs> heavier weighted guys, that's a big no-no, unless you're Enzo Amore, because he can, he can flex any day from 206 to 205, but, you know, whatever, and I feel it would bring, it would bring an interesting dynamic with Titus being a manager for so long, and Apollo with his high flippy stuff, that would be pretty cool, but, yeah, it was just like a fun match that I thought of, nothing too spectacular. Now, the last team I have is the team of, whoop, wonky camera. Hold on, we gotta like sort of find a way to set this up, whoop. Finn Balor, AJ Styles, if you can slightly see him there on the bottom. Gallows and Anderson. And just so you guys know, I know that they're both wearing the same jacket. I need to still fix that and make a custom updated for Anderson and for Gallows, so it says Gallows. But basically, I think this would be cool. The reason why Finn's overshadowing AJ is because AJ's on SmackDown, so it would sort of have to be like a Survivor Series type deal, which would be cool, but we'll need to see what, what that all turns out into being. And then, I don't know, AJ could possibly um, join in. I know it would be four men, but since Balor and the club have not yet really like connected, other than like one time, so... I don't really see how they would like sort of be able to do that in less than a month. If they're able to do that, awesome, because I'd love to see it in WWE. And pretty much, guys, I think... Oh, let's quickly transition the camera. I think that's pretty much it for the teams Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns would face. But wait! Braun! So Braun Strowman, yeah, he's not in a tag team, or I didn't put him with the Wyatt family. Why would you put him in a match against the Shield? Well, since he's most probably the biggest guy on the roster, shouldn't he be able to take all three of them? Your thoughts in the comments section down below. But I thought that would be cool just to sort of see like. The Shield try to overcome it would be like on a three-on-one handicap match. Like I said, for Apollo and Titus, it would be more of a fun match, but a fun match nonetheless. But, yeah, I think that is where we're going to end off the video. As you guys can see, I think I've come up with some pretty cool names. And leave some of your own in the comments section down below. But, yeah, as you guys... Now can see the shield are leaving this party and I guess we'll need to wait until next time to see what happens with them. Hopefully WWE can go one of these directions because it would be pretty cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me at Dak underscore universe and subscribe to my main channel, Dak Universe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <gasps> Peace.